Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Coat of Many Colors and the People's Princess. I started off with Peel Ease as my base coat. It's all nice and dry and this is Poety, Co Poety Cowgirl Coat of Many Colors <laughs> and Music City Beauty, the People's Princess. These were from the Polish Pickup. I love them both, they're gorgeous. I'm gonna go in with my first coat of Coat of Many Colors. I am so, so, so happy that I grabbed this one when I had the chance. This polish is a favorite already. I've worn it once on these two nails and love it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fess up. I'm doing this manicure and I'm showing you me doing these coats. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Um, and like I do a lot of times, I I paint a base mani and I wear it for a day or two and then I do nail art on it. And um, you're going to see me doing these beautiful coats of polish. And then I got sick and didn't get around to doing any um, nail art. So I've got some tip wear later on in the video and uh, we don't go, oh we got a fuzzy, hang on, hang on, we got a fuzzy, gotta get that out of there. Ugh, don't you hate when that happens. So. I did come back and um, I'm going to show you how you can revamp a manicure that's got tip wear, but that's later on in the video. Right now we're going to enjoy these gorgeous coats of Coat of Many Colors and the People's Princess. I ended up doing three of Coat of Many Colors. I probably could have gotten away with two, but you guys know I just wanted to see it. See it in all its magic beautifulness. Look at it on that thumb. Uh. It's just so gorgeous. It would go with any, it could be a great accent nail for any color or polish just about. It's just oh, magical. It's my magical Dolly Parton polish. And then this purple, oh, heavens to Betsy's. Look at those flakies. You see them trying to jump off, off my nail? Oh, it's just, and look how she just got that glow from within look. It's just crazy pretty. Oh my gosh. Love these both. So I'm going to do this third coat of Coat of Many Colors. I know I'm a little spastic today. I'm sorry. Um, I'm starting to feel a little better. I still sound pretty bad, but I'm feeling a little better. So I'm a little excited. But uh, look at that. It's like. To me, this is like the perfect polish to be called Coat of Many Colors. It's just insane gorgeous. I am so, so in love with this one. Oh, sorry, I'm out of frame. I'm so bad about that. <laughs> I am working on it. And when he gets a workout, anytime I play with glitter, I have issues with glitter polishes. So, hi, Woody, again. <laughs> We're going to scrape up those glitters, try to get them off. So there we go. Isn't that gorgeous? I ain't top coated yet. I'm going to be using the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls today. Um, my bottle's about half, to, half empty. I'm going to be really sad when it's gone. Uh, but I've got loads and loads of top coats. So we'll move on to something else. Uh, but I do really like this one. And look how... Oh, Glossy, thick, juicy top coat on that. Just makes it sing. Sing just sweet like Dolly Parton. I love it. Love it. And it... Look at this. Watch this. Gorgeous. Over that People's Princess. Oh, I'm just loving these two babies. Oh. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So, this is where the manicure ended. Um, I planned on hopping on it the next day and doing some nail art but I told you already what happened so here's the swatch photo of it on its own beautiful now here we go I'm gonna show you my bad awful tip wear after like three or four days that's just gross so we're gonna play with this stamp and plate today it's the pro collection XL02 from MoU London my bundle monsters monocle stamper my scraper and I'm gonna use clean color metallic pink it's not a stampin polish but I'm using it for one today these metallic ones from clean color are really nice I wanted some faint stamping in the background here we go see I got that tip wear wasn't gonna be no covering up that 
So obviously I was off camera stamping that on my nail. My bad. I'm so sorry. We're going to try this again. Maybe I will get semi stamped today. I don't know. It's not looking so good. Uh, there we go. You can see I'm doing it, but you just couldn't see me doing it. So anyway, so it goes it. What a mess. And I'm knocking stuff over. Just a hot mess, you guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Yep, no stamping today. You just can't take my word for it. I did that. You. Yep. I'm going to use this Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat to go over the stamp nails and seal that in. You can barely see that stamping, but in real life it really did show up better. You will see it better in my swatch photo. Kind of see it a little bit. I don't know. I did want it to be faint though. So I'm going to go in with a piece of tape and get up that. These clean colors do clean up really well using this tape trick. Um, I've always had really good luck with all of them when I've tried them. There we go. Looking good so far. So now that my top coat is dry, I'm going to use a piece of tape and kind of section off. I'm going to do like a French tip kind of look on the end of these. So I'm taping off part of my nails and I'm going to be using that Poetry Cowgirl. And I'm, I don't know why I'm doing it this way. You guys, I must be running a fever or being stupid. I, I don't know why I'm putting it on the mat like this. This is just like redonkulous. I'll get straight here in a minute. Look, I'm like... I'm already thinking, what have you done? So, anyway, we're tapping that on the tip of my nails. Now I figured it out. Okay, this is how we do this. You'd think it was my first time to this rodeo. But we're going to get it together. And I'm just tapping it over the ends. Um, it's going to be like my French tip kind of look. Um... I really loved this polish and I'm telling you I could wear a full manicure with that just either one of these polishes would just be gorgeous but you know I've got so many that I'm trying to mix and match so I'm gonna go in one more time on that pointer nail because I didn't do right the first time and get some more of that glitter bling tasticness right there on that tip and then you want to get that tape up pretty quick before it starts drying and there we go. Groovy. So I am going to go in with my cleanup brush and try to clean up some of this hot mess going on. Um, glitter is such a mess to clean up, but this actually wasn't too bad. Um, I didn't go too crazy, full on gradient, so uh, the mess was kind of managed towards the end of my nails. There you go. So we're going to top it with some posh top coat. I'm even going to go over that other accent nail again just because, you know, it needs a fresh coat to be glossy like the rest of them. Look how pretty. So I would love to hear what you think about my manicure. Leave me a comment down below because I always, always love hearing what you guys have to say. And that is my manicure. I do have a swatch photo coming up here real soon. But I hope you enjoyed this. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.